Well, Glenda and Dave, and what a meeting it was. It just wrapped up actually about 35 minutes ago. That vote, as you mentioned, five to two. The city of Warren was facing several lawsuits in the tens of millions of dollars. And tonight, city council taking up a vote to either approve or deny 28 marijuana licenses for dispensaries. And in the end, they voted against a settlement. Yes, to deny. Votes well, no. Item passed five to two. The, the settlement is denied. Warren City Council voting to deny 28 licenses for marijuana dispensaries that would have brought in millions of dollars into the city. Now, the city of Warren is facing millions of dollars in lawsuits. Before the decision was made, Warren residents voiced their concerns to city council. It is wrong and the, the administration has brought you a very flawed uh, settlement and I urge you to reject it. At this point, it's basically two wrongs are not going to make this right. The city facing several lawsuits after the previous council awarded 15 licenses after receiving more than 60 applications. A Macomb County Circuit Court judge later ruled the council violated the Open Meetings Act. The businesses who lost out on receiving a license then filed the lawsuit. However, not all residents were against it. Some say they don't want lawsuits and will prefer new businesses. I like that it does include a community uh, benefits. Um, part of it where some money would come back uh, to the city. I don't feel that voting against it would be fair to the businesses that have already put into the cannabis uh, business already would help. So I think that we should vote for it. Mayor Jim Fouts, who has been outspoken about marijuana dispensaries, didn't like how this all played out. I've never been comfortable with the way the council handled this volatile issue, whether it be the old or the new council, but it did not go the way I would have preferred it. So I'm encouraging them to all work together to avoid costly and cumbersome litigation. And it is estimated that those 28 marijuana dispensaries would have brought in a total of around $70 million into the city of Warren. Well, tonight, now the city of Warren is facing tens of millions in lawsuits. Reporting live tonight, I'm Alan Campbell. Dave, back to you. And I'm guessing the fight's not over yet. Alan, thank you for the live report.